Well, I found it. That's <laughs> that's certainly nice. Guys, I gotta get inside this thing. In the dark, surrounded by ghost leviathans. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> What's up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. So this video is going to be a one-off, because I'm, I've been doing some thinking. So for the longest time, a lot of people were wondering about the playable area in Subnautica and why everything takes place here. We have learned through PDAs that you can actually obtain in the game that the entire playable area is a 2 kilometer by 2 kilometer volcanic crater that just so happens to rise up right to the ocean level. It kind of looks like this, if it were completely underwater, and a little bit taller, and with a bunch of scary monsters around it. Now, as far as we know, and as far as I know, there are no other areas like this. There may be other locations. It's hard to believe that this would be the only place that any volcanic activity would be taking place. Now, this thing, the ship, the Aurora, the terraforming ship that we were a part of that got shot down by the quarantine enforcement platform, or the precursors, just barely made it. What are the chances of that? From what we've learned as well, the quarantine enforcement platform can fire a beam that bends around using the planet's gravity and can shoot down ships that are either leaving or entering the planet on the other side of the planet. What are the chances that we landed here? Can you imagine? If we landed somewhere else, if we landed out in the middle of nowhere, well, I figured today, guys, we would take a look just to see what that would be like for us. Let's do it. Well, here it is, guys. We're out here, sitting here on my live pod, and we just so happen to not crash where, where it would be ever so convenient to crash. Instead, we are out in the void. So, what's the first thing we do when we're here? I don't know. Jump down and see what's underneath. Oh, shit. First thing we see when we go underwater is a ghost leviathan. No joke, I had no idea that guy was sitting right there. He was more prepared than I was. We're gonna have no idea what this is. We're not gonna be able to have the materials to build the things that we need to even find out what these things are. It's gonna be a bad time. What could be worse than this? Well, probably this. God, no, please. I, I'm, I'm busy right now. I'm watching my hopes and dreams die before me. Oh, okay. Yeah, these guys do not like me being here. Okay, I'm gonna get inside. Get inside, get inside. Oh, well then, I'd say we're a little screwed, aren't we? Now, I know what you're thinking. Guys, the only reason why the Aurora is even sitting up, can you, hey, can you hang on a second? The only reason why the Aurora is above water is because it landed on land. What would actually happen to the Aurora if it didn't land on land? Would it float? What if it didn't? What if it sank? Well, we should probably take a look at that too, right? So here we are at the bottom of the dead zone. These guys are the only things that exist down here. Now, you might be wondering, where is the Aurora? Well, it may have hit the bottom of the dead zone. You know what? I think we might be able to find it though. If we just look hard enough, maybe we'll see it. My guess is that it's over in that direction. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is actually... Oh wow, that's the bottom. The bottom of the bottom of the void. The sounds that these ghost leviathans make is... It's just absolutely terrible. I'm in, I'm safe, by the way. Like, I'm not gonna die, but this is just... Ooh. Okay, you know, I thought it was over here somewhere. I might be wrong. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck, dude, my heart. Well, I found it. That's <laughs> that's certainly nice. Oh, Jesus. Okay, come on, calm down. Guys, I gotta get inside this thing. I actually am very curious to get inside this. In the dark, surrounded by ghost leviathans. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy, here we go. Oh, this is, oh, this is terrifying. I, uh, I, there's just so much going on noise-wise. You'd think that like, because there's constant noise, that I just wouldn't be terrified, but no, this is... Oh my, I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna get... Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, oh my god! This is terrifying! Whoa, wait. What? Oh, you know what? The Aurora might be its own biome. The Aurora is probably its own biome, so it makes the, uh... Makes the Ghost Leviathans go away. Well, isn't that convenient? That doesn't change the fact that this is incredibly scary. This isn't even part of the game. I'm just doing this for the yucks. Okay, I need a better light. I can't see anything. Okay, so this is towards the inside. We gotta find the door. Does everything, does everything spawn with this Aurora? Whoa, looks like we're missing some stuff back here. That's dangerous looking. I can't tell what's what. Okay, this is the top that's way too high up. It's gotta be the area where you walk on, right? Somewhere over here. Are those fish? Am I, okay, it's not fish. I'm an idiot. That's, uh, a sparks. Holy crap, this goes deep. Ooh, boy. That's starting to look a little familiar. Kind of? Oh, it's right here. Is this it? This has to be it, right? Maybe? Yeah, okay, here we go. So we can take this path up. Jesus Christ, dude. Can you imagine? Like, again, this, this, whole, this whole video was supposed to paint the picture of, like, crashing in any other place on this planet in any other place again for all we know there could be tons of land i mean unless it's been described as being something else uh, unless it's like the only place that's above water or close to it this is it was damn lucky that we crashed there there's a lot of luck apparently it was luck that we even survived in the escape pod because we happened to eject at the right time everyone else is dead well kind of oh boy so here's the door there is no keypad and Oh, okay, I see. I see what's going on here. Okay, so basically, ooh, wait, what? Oh, was I supposed to go under here? No, I messed up. So basically, the second part that you actually walk on uh, spawns in that particular area. This doesn't. Okay, there we go. I mean, if we trace this back, right, if we go forward, if we go down here, where is the engine room? Okay, that's not it. Oh, hello. Wait, there's another door up here? Does this... Where does that go? I know I have, like, infinite oxygen also, uh, but there's no way I would survive this. I'm 3,000 meters down, dude. Little compartments. You know, I really would love to be able to explore more of the Aurora. Oh, wait. Something changed. Oh, God damn it. Don't scare me like that, dude. Oh, uh, where am I? What the hell is this? What? Okay, hold on. There's clearly textures here. Oh, wait, is this the generator room? Oh, you know what it is? Do I not have a welder? Oh, I have a welder. We can actually fix this. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, so we're in here. Isn't there an exosuit room somewhere? There is legit no light penetrating at all. I have no idea where I'm at. Oh boy, this is great. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you know what the amazing part is? The combination of sounds, the ambiguity, knowing where I'm at, all of this coming into play, but still having the, the knowledge that nothing's gonna happen, that there's no secret in this. It's still so creepy. How does it do that? I have been in this so many times. How is this even possible? Okay, I guess I'm in the biggest, I'm, I guess I'm in the body of the, uh, the Aurora now. It doesn't seem like everything spawns in like it would the other place. Because I think that's its own entity that only spawns there. Yeah, I'm just in the ship, dude. The Ghost Leviathans aren't out, that must mean I'm in the ship. Oh, I see something. Fire. Hello. <laughs> what? It's like I'm in space and I'm witnessing something nuts. Okay, so, we, oh, we're on the edge of the, holy hell. Dude, this is insane. Why is this so crazy to me? Up here, oh, we're at the back, okay. So this is the back end. Did you see my hand? Oh my God, that's creepy. Can somebody get, oh! It's like somebody, I, I honestly thought something was reaching out. That was not cool, man. Okay, so yeah, here's the pixelated, okay, so we're at the butt of it and I can't go anywhere. I don't even know what this is. What? My battery's out. Great. Well, that's it. That's what it would be like. It would be absolute hell and you would die. I mean, there would be... There's no saving you at this point. And as you can see, a fully grown 
Ghost Leviathan. An adult Ghost Leviathan is completely dwarfed by the size of the Aurora. For some of those who are claiming that it's the same size. Oh, there you go. There's a better representation. Yeah. Not real. Holy crap, this looks amazing. Oh, there's the- there it is. Okay, so I was close. I was trying to spawn it, like, right on top, but I guess that didn't work out so well. But yeah, to be able to explore more of the Aurora, I know they added all the new rooms and stuff, like the exosuit room, we got to go into the quarters, the living quarters. But this- this ship is huge! There has to be way more to this, and, I, and I'm actually curious about what could possibly have been on here. Are there giant terraforming machines because we were on a terraforming mission? I don't know. Are there any details of that on the wiki? I, I haven't even bothered to check that. But I think it would be really cool to explore even more remains of the Aurora, more than what we've been given so far. I don't know, I feel like there should be more intact places. But here you go, this is the sunken Aurora. Anyway, that's all for this video, and don't worry, the IG Paradise will continue in the future. I am definitely going to be doing other videos as well, so keep that in mind. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see in the next one. Thanks again for watching. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!